Okay, um, so we are going to look at um, the parabola and uh, we're going to focus our attention on uh, some practice questions uh, when the equation of uh, the parabola um, has the vertex which is at the origin. And the question that we have reads, in each of the following parabolas with the vertex at the origin, find the focus, uh, the directrix, as well as uh, we have to sketch the graph. Okay, so starting with... Uh, with the first one, we have our y squared is equals to is equals to eight x. Okay, so talking about the focus, um, we know to say uh, what we have here. This is symmetric about the x-axis. Hence, the focus we are able to find it using. Uh, I mean, the, the the coordinates of the focus are going to be uh, they are going to be something like um, they're going to be h plus. Uh, h plus p comma k like that okay so those are the coordinates for our focus so it's the only thing that remains is for us to know what is our value of p what is our value of h and what is our value of k and for h and k we can easily uh, we can easily find them or rather we already given because we are told that the vertex is at the origin which is just going to be 0 comma 0 like that then for p uh, for P, we can get it from what we have here. Remember to say uh, from the general uh, form of this equation, uh, y squared is equals to 4px like that. If um, we equate uh, this equation equals to that equation, basically it means we are, we're going to say our 4, 4p is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to 8 like that. So we're going to have our 4p uh, being equals to what? Being equals to 8. So we divide both sides by 4, 4 like that. The four goes so your p is going to be equals to what is going to be equals to a two okay so uh that makes our work much easier because now we have our p our p we say is equals to what is equals to two okay our p uh, p being equals to being equals to two so it's just a matter of now replacing in that uh so you see our focus is equals to uh, it has these coordinates um our h is 0, our p is 2, comma, our k is what? Our k is um, our k is 0 as well. Okay, so meaning the coordinates for our focus are what? Zero, uh, 2, comma, what? 2, comma, 0. Okay, so that's our focus. So our focus, we have found uh, 2, comma, 2, comma, 0. Okay, so uh, looking, uh, talking about the, the directrix, okay? Talking about the directrix, so we know to say uh, when when the equation of the parabola is symmetric about the uh, about the x-axis, your directrix is you find it in this form. It's going to be uh, x is equals to what? Uh, your x is is equals to h minus c minus p because you have something like this. So let's just say in this case, since we know to say our p is positive, we know to say it's going to open like that. So your directrix is going to be somewhere here. It's cutting the x-axis. That's why we say our x is equal to what? That value there. So you're going to say our x is equal to what's our what's our um, our h? Our h is zero minus our p is what? Our p is two. So this is going to be what? Uh, minus two. So that is our directrix. We find that our directrix is um uh, is x is equal to what? Minus two. That is what we have. And what is remaining is for us to do what? To do the sketching. So uh, sketching this is much uh, easier because we know that um, in terms of P, we know to say our P is what? Is a positive number. So since it's a positive number, uh, we know to say uh, our, our our parabola is going to open to what? It's going to open to the right. So uh, just to give ourselves a picture of this, Okay, when we can try to give ourselves some coordinates to, so we say this is our x, this is our y, we draw a small table like that. Okay, so I can say uh, the origin is 0, 0, okay, so here it's just a matter of, okay, uh, it's more like uh, we say, okay, we are going to say our x is equals to y squared divide, divided by 8. I'm making uh, my x uh, the subject of the formula. So I'm going to ask myself, when y is 0, what do I have? Even my x is 0 here. When y is 1, when y is 1, what would be my x? My x would be 1 over 
will be 1 over 8. Okay? When my y is 2, this one will be what? 1 over 1 over 2 because you're going to have your y, your x is equal to uh, 2 squared divided by 8. So your x will be equal to 4 on the, on the denominator, 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8 is what? Is 2. Okay, so I think those those coordinates are enough for, for us to do what? To do the sketching. So we are going to have, uh, we have our x-axis like that. And uh, we have our y-axis like that. Okay, this is our y-axis and this is our what? Our x-axis. Okay, so the first coordinate that we have is uh, 0, 0, which is at this point. Then the second uh, coordinate that we have is 1, 8. We say, okay, for example, we say our uh, 1, comma, uh, I mean 1 over 8. 1 over 8 is somewhere here. Then our 1, in terms of the y-axis, we say it's somewhere here, like that. Then we can say uh, we have our... our uh, 1 over 2, okay, which is which would, which would be somewhere here, okay, 1 over 2 in terms of x, then we have our 2 here in terms of y, which would be somewhere here. So the same goes, if here I'm going to put, uh, if here I'm going to, uh, instead of me saying positive 1, I say negative 1, here I say negative 2, I'm still going to get these same values. So which means you have a point here and you have a point there. So hence your parabola is going to be... Uh, something like that so you don't really have to pick um, or rather give yourself too many points just uh, give yourself few points to give you a picture of how everything is going to be so that's how we go about uh, sketching um, sketching that uh, uh, the first equation that is symmetric about the x-axis and we also have to know that in this case uh, the axis, okay, the axis that we have is uh, is, in, is in terms of y, which is equals to what? y is equals to k, and what's our k is equals to what? 0, and that is our axis there. So it's also very important that we understand that. So, going to, going to the next one, okay, the next example, uh, we have our, our x squared is equals to minus 6 y like that so we know that that equation is symmetric about the about the about the y axis so it's either it's opening upwards or downwards but since we already know what to say when it's the value of p is negative meaning it's opening downwards we already have a picture of what the parabola is going to be so it's more like um we already have this in our minds even before we do the sketching which is very very important uh because it makes uh, your work much easier Okay, so we're not to say our parabola is going to be something like this, and for the for the for the for the for the parabola when the vertex is at the origin, this is much easier to sketch because uh, all you know that is passing at that point. Okay, and like one where you have to find the value of h and the value of the value of k when it's not at the origin. So that is already the picture that we have, and this is even going to make more sense as we try to find uh, coordinates. That's the y-axis, and that is our x-axis. So the first thing that we have to find for that one here is uh, is the focus. And uh, to find the focus, uh, uh, the coordinates of the focus in this case um, is going to be h, comma, k plus c plus p. Okay. So here we have our, our vertex. Then our focus is somewhere here. Okay. Our focus is somewhere there. So we know focus in this case at that point is what is h. Then our, um, in terms of x is h, in terms of y, okay, in terms of, uh, of y, we are adding the k that we have here, okay, the k that we have here plus what, the p that is at any point such as that, okay, which makes this one to make sense, okay, so uh, we not to say our h is 0, our, our k is also 0 because we are starting at the origin, but what about p, we not to say uh, the general form of the equation is x, uh, I mean x squared is equal to 4, P Y. So we are equating 4P to be equal to minus 6. Okay, so we are saying our uh, 4P is equals to minus 6. Divide both sides by 4, by 4 like that. So we're going to have our P is equals to uh, 2 here, 3, 2 here, 2. So it will be minus 3 over, minus 3 over 2. Meaning 
this, this uh, clearly shows us that um, our P is negative and that concludes to say our, our, our parabola is opening downwards, which is what we have right here. Okay, and how is it even going to make more sense? Okay, how is it even going to make more sense? It's going to make more sense even as we come up with what? With, the, with some coordinates to help us do the sketching. So, what we do here is um, for the focus, we know to say this is be 0, comma, our case is zero. 0. 0 plus negative 3 over 2 is still going to be minus 3 over uh, minus 3 over 2 itself, like that. So that is our art, our focus. And first of all, before we, do, we find out, we find the coordinates, we have to find the directrix. Our focus is at 0, comma, minus 3 over 3 over 2. Like that. So for the directrix, uh, I'll just say directrix is equals to um, is equals to when your y is equals to your k minus p. Remember to say for the other one we said our x is equals to h minus p. So what is our k in this case? Our k is zero. Okay. Our k is zero minus what's our p minus three over two like that to be equals to. That would be equals to three over two, a positive, uh, a positive number. Okay, so that would be somewhere here. The directrix is somewhere at, would say somewhere at this point. That's where we have our three over two. So our direct y is equals to three over two. That's how you easily find it. So now it's it's uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's us now to find what the, the the some coordinates to give ourselves coordinates to help us do the sketching so we can try to or leave it the way it is it just depends on which uh, form you're able to work with much easier so this would be equals to minus x squared divide by divide by six so if you six here and your y here you give yourself some points Let me just give myself three points know that my origin is zero and this is zero I'll say negative one here here I'll say positive one. Okay. So when my x is negative one, what would be my y? My y would be minus one over six, like that. Then when my y, my x is one, positive one in this case, you are still going to have what? Uh, minus one over six. Okay. So when you have your x as when you have your x here as one. And when you have your x here as negative 1, you have a point here. We say, for example, this point is what? Uh, we say, for example, this point and that point there is what? Minus 1 over 6 in terms of y. And that, 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 already, that already indicates to say uh, our graph is opening downwards. And that's basically how you go about um, answering such a question. Uh, once again, one of the points that we have to understand is that we have to be able to know to say is the is the, is the parabola opening downwards or upwards. Look at the value of p. That will give you a picture onwards, like before you even do anything. That will give you a picture to say, oh, okay, my parabola is going to be like this, or the other way around. Okay. Something else that we also have to understand is that uh, the axis in this case is what the axis in the, is in terms of what the x. Okay. So meaning our our x is equal to what is equal to I mean, not really x. Yeah, in fact, it's x is, is equals to h. Okay, meaning our axis is what? It's zero. This is symmetric about the the y axis. Okay, so uh, that's how you go about uh, answering those two questions. Uh, feel free to leave your comments um, in the comment section, just in case you have any queries or you have any recommendation on any video that you'd like us to make on your behalf and thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.